Hey everybody, it's Vic from Vic's Creative Corner. Today we are going to talk about voice mod, routing our voice mod into our stream, as well as our Discord for sound effects. If you run split audio in OBS, that's great. You can have a dedicated SFX channel if you use Wavelink. Um, if not, I believe OBS 28 does allow you to add it as a separate input altogether. But we're going to talk about utilizing these tools with Wavelink, as I am a Wavelink user due to having a Wave XLR and a Wave 3. So let's get started here. The first things first, you're going to want to go to Voice Mod's webpage. You're going to want to download Voice Mod for free. If you decide that you like using Voice Mod for voice changing and sound effects, then definitely get yourself a lifetime, uh, you know, purchase. I, I have a lifetime license and I absolutely love using this in my Discord. Sometimes there's certain screams or little laughs or whatever that I do just randomly. And <laughs> it's a lot of fun to play those sounds, especially with your buddies. They kind of catch them off guard and it's for, for laughs, y'all. The lols, they're awesome. All right, so now that we've got voice mod out of the way here, we've already installed it, right? So we need to configure it. Um, you can hear yourself if you want to at the bottom here. You could also just have voice changer enabled and not hear yourself. Personally, as uh, I talk, I don't like hearing myself talk because it makes me stop and then I have to listen and process that I just heard my own voice. So I don't do it. I don't listen to myself whatsoever. But your friends do hear you. They are able to hear the different changes in the voices, and then they let you know if it's good or bad, or at least I'm lucky enough I have friends that do that for me. Um, so the first thing's first. If you are using a Wave microphone and you are setting it up with VSTs, then you're going to want to use your Wavelink microphone effects. If you're not using VSTs, you can just select your mic in Elgato Wave XLR three or one. This works with all three Wave products. Now the reason why on my output I have it set up to Wavelink sound effects or SFX is because that's going to be the input that I want all my sound effects to go through. And I do split audio in OBS, so I will show you this right now. I have a sound effects input here. That way I'm able to see those things come through in a separate audio track. The reason why I do that is because I like my audio separate. I like to be able to configure different levels when I'm using DaVinci Resolve, if I'm doing any edits, etc. So if I need to adjust the audio on one level versus the whole thing, I can. Now, if you prefer to have just a one stop for everything, you can use the Wavelink stream. Um, and I personally don't do that because I like to have my audio separate, but you can unify it into one source. All right, so now that we have our setup the way that we want, we can go to our voice box and we can actually look at all of our favorites. We can look at all of the voices. And if you have a license, you do get the new voices as well. These things are pretty awesome. And yes, there's a beta. So here's another cool thing for creators. If you're doing voice mod, you can actually come to voice mod live and you can set it up so that way your stream viewers can actually change your voices using either bits or for free. And I've already set this up. So that's pretty cool. They, they can use all of these different voices while I'm live streaming. It tells them the minimum time frame, the buffer time frame and if it's free or you can change it to bits. Um, I leave it free. You know, I, I don't mind them doing this. I think that it's fun and interactive for them. So let's go back to our voice box. So we see all of our different voices here and you can actually set this up in Stream Deck. So we're going to talk about that next. But the next thing that I want to show you is a soundboard. You can actually create a soundboard with your own little sound clips and have them here. Um, there are key binds. I don't mess with anything as far as this particular area because I set it all up in my stream deck and I don't even worry about this area. So that's what we're gonna actually move on to next is going to be our stream deck. So it tells you voice mod is minimized, it's totally fine. So if you haven't already gone to the stream deck, plugin store, we can type in voice mod. We're gonna install this particular plugin so that way we can actually set up using a quick button push 
to change our voices. So one of the ones that we, we like using is T-Pain. We really do love this one. And I'm going to set it up here. It's that simple. So I went to voice changer, right? And then I selected a voice. So the next one I guess we'll do is evil AI. So if I push the button, you're going to be hearing that my voice is changing and I'm going to have like a little musical tone to it, like T-Pain. But if I change it to evil AI, now you can hear me sound like an evil AI. But if I want my voice to go back to normal, we would go to clean. And then my voice would go back to normal using the clean effect. I do recommend having this one here if you want to sound normal on your streams, you know, in case you have to manually switch something back because your voice didn't change back, which is cool. Um, the next thing is, you know, you can put your voice changer on or off. So you can toggle it on or off. But if you want to, you can actually do this as a multi-action. Oh, you see where it says hotkey switch? No, wait, that's not it. It's under here. It was a, a multi-action switch. So we would basically put our voice changer on here and our voice changer off here. But you know what? They've actually done this a lot quicker for us. And if we look here, we can actually see that there's just a one button thing. We push it, it turns it off. When we push it, it turns it back on. So there are many different methods on how to do this. All right. So I'm just going to leave that alone because I don't mind having it on 24-7. Alrighty, so you could actually toggle between hearing yourself if you really wanted to. And you could toggle between turning it off. Simple way. Same thing, same process as if it was the voice changer on or off. I don't want to hear myself, so I will never have this on my stream deck. You could randomize a voice, which is pretty cool. So if I was doing this, it would randomize whatever voice that's coming through. And I have no idea what you're hearing right now. But if I wanted to go back to being normal, I could definitely just switch between those. And as you tap them, it does highlight them. Now, one thing I do love about voice mod and using my stream deck the icons, they're already preset. So I don't have to do the guesswork in how am I going to change this so I know what I'm looking at here without any labels. You could always go in and label the button, but I like that Voiceman has already done the homework to make it simple for us. Now, if you're, um, you know, a pirate and you've got a lot of you can actually just hold down your sensor button for as long as you're using any bad words if in case you're doing like a pg-13 stream or something to that nature that button comes in very handy um let's see so we're gonna talk about stop all soundboard sounds okay this thing is going to come in extremely handy when you do different things in voice mod and we're going to talk about that right now so there are some background effects right you can turn them on you can turn them off i don't like the background effects but if you're talking and you want to hear the little noises that come after it then you can toggle it now you see this here the soundboard this soundboard is basically going to be sound effects and what we're going to do i guess we'll use a magic charm and you see how it changes the image so the soundboard is where your sound effects are going to come through. For example, let's do an explosion. And you can hear the explosion coming through. If I do the wand, you get to hear the wand coming through. And there are so many inside of voice mod and they already have the icons set. So that way, you know what the sound is, but say you don't, um, want to do soundboards necessarily with sound effects but you want maybe like some music or something there is actually music here i just have to find it oh here we go elevator music so here's the bossa this is my personal favorite one i use in discord <laughs> but if you want the music to stop you can either push the button or you can actually push this and it stops everything 
all, all of the soundboards. This is your instant stop. So this is why you want to have this on here anytime you're doing a soundboard. Alrighty. So as you can see, you can hear the audio coming through, right? But how do we set that up? So if you're doing it in OBS, and give me just a second here, y'all. I am going to pull up my settings so you all can see it in OBS. All right. So in OBS, we're going to go to audio. Now I have two microphones, one for just my XLR in case I don't want to use voice mod at all. Um, so I toggle between those two particular microphones. But if I'm doing voice mod, voice mod is my secondary microphone. So it's going to be set up here in mic auxiliary audio too. If you just want voice mod, you can actually just set it as your primary and you're good. Um, you could do either or. But me personally, I have both just because I like clean audio and then I like audio for fun during my stream. So that's how I've set it up here. Now, the other thing is I do use Wavelink. So in Wavelink, we're gonna come here. And what I'm gonna do is show you the input channel. So I'm gonna remove this for a second. You can still hear it coming through my OBS, but it's not showing up here in Wavelink, right? So we're gonna add our channel and we're gonna look for where it says voice mod. See where it says microphone voice boss? Sorry, that was really loud in my ear. I had to uh, turn off monitoring myself, but you probably heard a double echo because I was just setting it up. Now you can adjust the volume. This is what I was trying to do is drag and drop. And me personally, I like to have things in a particular order. It's not just my OCD kicking in here, but this is just so that way I know from left to right, just like in my OBS, I have Wavelink mimicking what's in my OBS. So that way I'm able to remember where everything is. Um, I'm meticulous like that. You don't have to do it that way. You could do it your way, but that's how I have mine set up. It's just easier as a visual for me, but that's how you're gonna set it up here in your Wavelink and in your stream deck and in your OBS. But what about Discord, right? Discord is important too. Like, let's just say you wanna do sound effects and you want them to come through with your voice mod that you've set up and you're excited to use it because it does a lot of different voice changes. So I have my output going to my Wavelink voice chat because that's just how I have it set up with my party chat coming in from Discord when I'm live streaming, whether we're playing Dead by Daylight or whatever multiplayer game we're playing. But I want to use my voice mod microphone, right? I want to use my sound effects. So I'm going to come down to where it says microphone voice mod virtual audio device WDM. That is going to be my voice mod microphone. That way I'm able to do something like this where everybody's able to hear it when it comes through. And then I can just go back to doing this sounding normal. And that's all done with the software running in the background. Now, that's going to be how you're going to be able to run things through in regards to your voice mod and sound effects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here to my gaming's com. I'm going to unmute myself in my personal discord. And what I'm going to do is run the BASA. And I'm not going to say anything, but I'm going to run the elevator music in my discord right now. Check it out. And so I stopped it. So that's how I'm able to have my sound effects, my soundboard and everything route through my personal discord. Um, I do this when we're gaming or I do this when <laughs> we're waiting for someone or I'll even do a crazy screaming sound effects. I actually do have a different uh, layout for myself. And this is actually gonna be my layout here. Um, I did have a screaming one on here, but um, we'll come back to that another time. I have to set all of those things back up because I did change a couple of things, mainly so I could make this video. But this is why I love using the voice mod soundboard and sound effects. And there is another way to do something different and I will talk about that in another video if you don't have voice mod. So stay tuned for the next video. That next video is going to be featuring the Elgato soundboard and how to route those things in the exact same way. But thank you for watching.